Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the icons on your iPad and iPhone. And this works currently in 4.31, and you don't need to be jailbroken. Most people think you need to be jailbroken. You don't. This, let me turn on the light. This is an iPad 2. It's got the front facing camera and if you look at the date it's April 13th 2011 you can look online there is no current jailbreak exploit out right now I think it I don't remember the iPad 2 doesn't support the shatter exploit or the lime rain exploit or something like that regardless that's not the point of this video the point of this video is to show you how to change your app icons now I actually found this handy because with the iPhone 4 a lot of app developers do not recognize their apps and you can do this on your own because this is the main reason why I started now <clears throat> to show this is running 4.3 it's not running 4.31 just because I haven't I've been too lazy to update it right there can we focus yeah, sort of. Anyways, it's running 4.3. But it doesn't matter. You can do it on 4.3.1 because I've done it. Anyways, so this is one app that has been abandoned by the developer. Wi-Fi Track. You can't even find it on the App Store. It's, when it, it's a real Wi-Fi finder for war driving and stuff like that. I don't know why it was ever taken off. All the apps that could track Wi-Fi were taken off, but I don't know. I guess it had something to do with the dev developer rules or something, but I looked through the rules and it seemed okay. Anyways, it's a magnifying glass, and I was never too fond of that, plus it's a little fuzzy. So what I'm going to turn it into is... A little cellular tower with blue waves coming out of it and I'm gonna show you first my iPhone 4 is jailbroken and I'm gonna show you the difference just for all those people who say oh yeah I shouldn't probably show my code for those people who say oh yeah you know there's some way you got it broken jailbroken so and you can do this on Windows or a Mac and I'm gonna show you the method iPhone Explorer you can find it online and there's a Windows and a Mac flavor now if you're jailbroken let me plug my phone in if you're jailbroken when you view it in iPhone Explorer by the way I'm sorry for the shakiness I don't have a tripod okay when you do that you will see apps and root. If you're not jailbroken, root will be be replaced by the media folder. And if I tap root, you can see the root of my device. That's how you can tell if you're jailbroken. So, what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the phone. Again, sorry for the shakiness. Hey, James, stop scratching that chair. Okay. So when we plug it in, and we do the drop down we see it's there's a media folder now if I do this it just shows my media my camera books downloads etc etc it's not jailbroken plus like I said if you check the date that this video is posted there is no current publicly released jailbreak anyways we're gonna tap the apps button now you just have to find your the folder for the app that you want and I'm looking for Wi-Fi track which is right there now all you do is open it and you go into the Wi-Fi track app and then scroll down and I've already got the app icon over there because I've got this all set up I already did this all on my phone now Wi-Fi track we're gonna drag this into here and drop it 
and it's going to ask me do I want to replace it. I tap OK and it copies over. Now on the iPad all you have to do is close it and then reopen it and you see the app has changed. The app icon has changed. Now you can do this on the iPhone 4. Again, all of these, all the iOS devices do not need to be jailbroken. And you can do this to modify. I will warn you though, there are a few warnings to take into consideration. If you update an icon and then transfer it to your computer, then you cannot transfer that app onto other iOS devices because when you try it will say that the system contents or something like that has been modified and it's not able to be transferred onto the device so what I'd recommend is if you update or download apps sync them to your computer first and then on your device change the icon. Never change the icon and then sync it back to your computer because that will kill the app. It, this is a good recommendation just in case the app gets dropped from the app store or something like that because if you ever don't have access to the app you'll never be able to install it again from your computer if you've changed the icon first and then transferred it to your computer. Also one handy thing, if you are on your computer and you're trying to change the app, what you can do, if you do not know the name of the icon, usually for the iPhone 4, it's called icon, the at symbol, as in emails, icon at 2x.png. It's a ping file. Not all apps follow this rule. Some of them are, are app.png, I mean icon.png. There's some really weird ones. What you can do to find the guarantee, let's look at, I don't remember what weird ones there are off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. Let's, I want to find a universal because I know those are a little weird. Let's see. Actually, let me check for because I have I actually I did this all and all my icons are pre-done. Okay, that might work. That's the sun moon 3D sun moon. Let's see if I can find that really quickly. Camera on my battery's dying. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I just want to get this to show you guys so I don't have to redo this video. Alright, I guess let's just take. Fine, we'll take Tap DJ. If you cannot figure out what the icon is, go into the app, if it'll open, and scroll down to the eyes. And you will see an icon item called info.plist. If you drag this to your desktop and then open it, you there we go. Okay, this one's not too bad. You will see this one has multiple icons. So it'll say CF bundle icon files. If you open it up, you can see that there's multiple items for this one. Item 0, item 1, item 2. Most likely the iPad version is icon-72.png. The iPhone 4 is icon at 2xpng. And probably the iPhone 1st gen and the iPhone 3G and 3GS are icon.png. So that's a good way to if you cannot figure out what icon you're supposed to be using, 
that's a good way to check the name of the icon because I've come across some weird ones where it's app underscore icon underscore whatever. Let me try and find one though that does not have multiple bundles because most of them honestly I have not found multiple bundles. Of course I opened another one with massive with an, a massive amount of items. Okay, let's just open Snood. <sighs> yeah, all of them are men. Where's my info? James, that's not a scratch and post. All right, let's open this info P list. Okay, oh, no, that's not it. See, like this icon is called icon tilde. That's the tilde sign to the left of the one key. Icon tilde iPad.png. Of course, that's again not really what I'm wanting to see. Uh, let's open Angry Birds. Okay, this one's more of a cleaner thing. This one's icon-72, so there's only one icon file. Okay, now if we open the info P list, see, it should say icon file right there. And then there's bundle icons, which show the same thing. Whoops. How I can't really make this clear. There we go. Icon-72.png. Now, <coughs> this Macs come with a plist reader. If you're not on a Mac, you should Google. If I remember correctly, it's called plist editor. Editor. There you go. Actually, first hit on the Google plist editor and I've used this this will allow you to read plists on a Windows based computer but anyways that is how to change your icons app icons on a non jailbroken iOS device running 4.31 4.3.1 I don't know if it'll work for 4.3.2, but it seems to. Again, word of warning, if you update your icons, make sure that you've already synced it to your computer, otherwise you can't sync it to any other devices. So I hope you like that, and I hope that's helpful for you guys.